a partitioned outer joint. It's actually been around for about 20 years and I so rarely see them in the wild, I thought we'd talk about it. Okay, we have a table called time slots. You just have to trust me. <laughs> we have the hours 8 through 16. These are the hours of the day into which we can actually book a meeting. And then we have a bookings table which says, okay, Pete's got room two booked at eight, John's got room one booked at nine, and so forth. If I want to see the bookings by hour, it's just a stock standard outer join which we saw 30 slides ago. Just normal left outer join, and then we have room eight hour of the day, eight through 16, and there's our information. But what if someone says, I want the bookings per hour per room? So what I want is for room one, hours eight through 16 and for room two, hours eight through 16. That's a tougher proposition because depending on what data is in my bookings table, I could have room one and two, I could have room 10. You know, it's basically depending on what data is in there, it tells me how many times I need to repeat that rooms, that hourly, hourly structure. One for room one, one for room two, one for room seven, room 13, etc. It's actually trivial. A lot of people do a lot of code to work around this, but it's actually always been there since Oracle 9. Partitioned out of join, it literally is partitioned by and then a stock standard out of join syntax. And what this does is says, okay, you're partitioning by room, so I'd give you a join to the hours table for room one, as I encounter it, room two, and so forth, up to a number of rooms that are in the table. It actually works pretty cool. You don't have to do to select distinct room and stuff like that. So it's been there since Oracle 9, cool feature.